Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Shop Strand Audio. Thanks for tuning in. This is video number 22 in my video tutorial series about the Roland TS Rhythm Performer. And this time I want to explain and show you how to do a backup on the SD card to save your current pattern and kit configuration. And then we do a firmware update to the new firmware version 2.0. All right, just have a look at the current firmware. I just want to show you I don't have already the um, 2.0 firmware version. Alright, then press utility, hold down shift to scroll faster through the menu until you find information. Press enter and you see the version 1.10 is installed and we want to have the 2.0 version. Alright, then enter. So we want to make a backup first. Grab the SD card. That's my standard SD card for my Roland TLS. And stick the SD card in the bag. Then go to Backup in Utility and press Enter. So we can name our backup. I press enter and let's say we choose B, B for backup. B. All right, so I chose BBB1 for the first backup here. Then press enter. Backup, okay, and press enter again. Now the TIDS is doing the backup. That will take a little bit. So the backup is completed. Now we have to take the SD card out and put the SD card in our computer. Normally when I um, eject the SD card of my TIDS, I turn it off first. So I turn it off, take the SD card out and I put it into my computer. The next thing what you have to do is you have to go to the roland.com website. Then go to support and the link update and drivers. Press update and drivers and then scroll through until you find the TIS Rhythm Performer. Click on that and then you see it is the first one, the TIS System Program version 2.0. Click on the first link. Then you have to download the update. You have to make a little hook here. I agree and wish to proceed with the download. Then download the file. Once the file is downloaded, open it or unpack the sys folder. And then you see one little trs up in. That is our update. Just simply click and copy the file and move it onto your SD card. So to do that, just paste the file under the Roland folder. And that's it. Then press, it depends if you have Windows or Mac, I have Windows, just eject the SD card in the menu and then take the SD card out. So the next step is take the SD card and put it in the back of your TIS. That's it. So and then you have to press and hold shift and turn on the TIS. And now it's updating. That will take a little bit and after the update you have actually, um, you have to do um, a factor reset just um, to make sure all the new sounds and parameter are properly, uh, prob um, proper, sorry, proper loaded into the system. And then the plan is to do a restore of our um, kit. So that's from our backup file. So update, finish it, turn off power. Now we turn off the power. That's it. And now we turn it back on. 
and you see version 2.0 nice now we have all the nice fm sounds okay completed turn off power that's it i wait a little bit in that case here and then i turn it back on that's it nice so now we want to do a factory reset all right then press utility hold shift to scroll faster through the menu again and then you have to find i would say utility scroll through until you find factory reset press enter so here you can choose actually what you want to reset you want to reset everything or just the kit or the pattern so in our case we do a whole reset all right executing now it's doing a whole reset that will take a little bit again so when the factory reset is completed the display shows turn off power we turn off the power again i wait a little bit and then i turn it back on tls version 2.0 that's nice and all new and fresh so and when you press pattern and you go through i think pattern three yes Berlin flyover so that was actually on the um, previous firmware that was the first pattern and here it starts on um, position 3-01 so you will find when you scroll higher all the old pattern again and everything else is new all right so that was just to make sure um, we have the new um, version then we want to restore our um, kits and patterns what we um, saved in the backup file before so again press utility hold down shift and scroll through until you find again utility so now we go to restore enter and you see here that is our backup file bbb1 all right then press enter turn the value knob to OK and press enter again and now it's executing and it's restoring our previous pattern and kits that will take again a little bit the Roland yet is is actually not the fastest um, machine all right so restoring our update into the new firmware firmware version 2.0 is completed so now we have to uh, turn off the power again again i wait a little bit here just to give the electronics a little um, time to um, turn off and then turn back on mm -hmm. all right so and now i actually had kit um, 68 trigger out demo yeah that was my kit actually and then when i go to pattern and i go to 603 03 yeah that looks actually pretty good nice all good here yes everything is back on and we have the firmware version 2.0 and still i can use my old pattern configurations and um, kits and now um, you actually can uh, go through and start uh, from the beginning and um, just to have a look at the new fm sounds and um, the new kits and everything else so yeah that's it then thanks for watching and when you have a question just leave a comment i uh, give my best to answer it that's not a problem and um, have a good day see you later